California Highway Patrol is giving us an inside look at their intense six month boot camp, which turns cadets into officers. A major part of that training is use of force. It is an issue that's increasing dialogue throughout our country. We're always looking to enhance the training to make it better, and, and some of the scenarios that you'll be going through today are an example of that. KCRA3's Dana Griffin got to experience the intense training experience firsthand. It's California's toughest law enforcement agency to qualify for, and for good reason. There's a lot of responsibilities that we do on a day-to-day -day basis that some people just aren't aware of. You may assume the California Highway Patrol only issues tickets, but that's far from the types of tasks they deal with daily. Today, KCRA got to experience some of those scenarios, including use of force. How are you? You know you're going 25 over the speed limit. Yeah, I'm kind of in a hurry. So I what started out as a simulated routine traffic stop quickly turned life threatening. Stay in the car. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Paying attention to detail is critical for officers. Guided by the principle of good judgment and necessity, they make tough decisions that have recently drawn more media attention. It's tough because you see the one guy coming with a gun and you see someone else with something too and you have to make that split decision, is he going to kill me too? It's the type of self-assessment CHP does to better connect with the community. The conversations going on right now across the country are ones that we're not ignoring. Uh, we're right there in front, engaged in these dialogues as people question organizations on their policies and their use of force and their treatment of minority uh, members of the community. This is Spencer Kerterman's second try after failing his driving requirement at the 20 week mark. But he's not giving up because he wants to make a difference and dispel negative stereotypes. With all this negative attention, we're going to need new officers, new faces that can be trusted. A trust that comes with good training and good intentions. At the CHP Academy in West Sacramento, Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News. And the training doesn't stop after graduation. Newly promoted officers have additional training on how to deal with mental health issues, de-escalation and safety.